Can we chop off the head of this Furby with a guillotine? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Here's a riddle for you. What do Louis the 16th of France, a girl's bangs after a breakup, and this have in common? They're all getting chopped. That's right, today we got our very own guillotine over there, and you know what that means. We're gonna be putting all sorts of irregular stuff in there rather than the normal stuff it was built for, like the human necks of the aristocracy. It's time for Putting Things in Things Guillotine Edition. This is a custom built Fully functional guillotine, and uh, Link is not gonna be allowed anywhere near it. In fact, you know what? Let's just switch places. All right, whatever. Now, in That's each round, better. we've gotta guess what's gonna happen when the blade drops, and whoever loses overall has to sacrifice one of their prized possessions as chosen by the crew without our knowledge to the guillotine. All right, let's chop. All right, that is a memory foam pillow. Link, do not I'm so put your sleepy. head. Do not put your head. I know how you brain. I'm so I look, sleepy. At the, look at the look in his eyes, and he wants to put his head down there. Because it's I a can pillow. tell. All right, so we just need to decide: Is it gonna bounce off? Is it gonna not cut all the way through? Is it gonna cut clean through and or, or explode some of that gel that I think is inside of there? Um, I, I have a guess. I, I think that there's just too much give in this thing for it to go all the way through. I think it's gonna just. Get like it's gonna go like halfway and like lodge in there. It's not gonna cut all the way through. Well, w I'm saying it's gonna cut clean through, and it's gonna ooze gel. But I'm saying clean through. Okay, Link. Um, I'm gonna be in. Can we put my head on the pillow? Gonna, you stay over there. <laughs> Your job is going to be counting down. Can you do that? <sighs> Three, two. Oh shoot! Put these on, man. Ah, that was a test. And safety third, five, four, three, two, one. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> ah, dang, man. So it completely pierced it, as you can see. But, but only there. Yeah, so I get the point. But do I, I get the pillow. Okay, good. Okay, we've got a beautiful set of Russian nesting dolls just waiting to be sliced down the middle. And we're trying to guess how many of the seven total dolls that are in there will experience significant damage. Significant is a nebulous word. Let's just say any damage. Any damage. Any damage. Do you have a guess? I went first last time. Yeah, so. um, let's see, at least Three, I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. But I think if that's what's significant. With any damage, uh, I'm gonna say four. I think four of them. Okay, um, I'm going to say six, because I think what's gonna happen is it's gonna rip all the way through, but that little teeny doll is gonna like slide off to the side and be completely unscathed. If it's five, who wins? We tie. You ready? Link, are you ready to count? Yeah, man. Hey, you know what you did such a good job of in the first round? Counting. Counting. All right. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, so, so let's see what's happened here. Exactly what I thought would happen did happen, but I don't know if that middle one was spared. Okay, so, oh, look at, so this one oh, here. Oh, 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 there's, there's one is, th is busted. Okay, so open that, open that, open And then that. if I open this up, this one has no damage. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We just don't know how many we're at here. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't think there was another one. Okay, so it was five because one there are two, two. There are two that are completely unscathed. You said four. I said six. The answer was five. That means we just tie. She is not happy. Quick reminder, Josh and Nicole have got a brand new podcast called A Hot Dog is a Sandwich over on the Mythical Kitchen channel where they debate all kinds of controversial food topics every single week. So make sure you check that out and subscribe to the Mythical Kitchen channel. Thank you. Okay, we're getting very creative this round because we put a lime, lime in, in the, the coconut. coconut. We drink them both up. Uh, no, we chop them both up. Yeah. And we're what we're trying to decide in this round is what happens to the lime in the coconut. Mm. Oh, and also I do want to clarify that uh, the reason the score is now two to one is because there are escalating points. Last round we tied, so we split we, we, the we points. We split the points, so this round's, this round's three. three points. Okay, 
I'll put the lime in the coconut back here. I, can I can I guess first this time? Yeah. Uh, I think what's gonna happen, we saw what happened to the Russian dolls and it just went right through and that's wood and coconuts, Kind of like wood. You're coconuts, saying a coconut's not wood? Coconut's wood. Coconut's wood. I think what's going to happen is it's not going to do a nice little chop through the, the lime. I think it's going to just explode the lime into several pieces because of the force of the coconut wood going down into it. And boom, that's what I think is going to oh, happen. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna cut through the coconut, but it's going to send the lime flying. I'm not saying that the lime is not gonna incur any damage, but I'm saying that Minimal it, is, it is less than 50% damage. That's, could be 49% damage, okay? okay? You're hedging a little. You cool with that? Yeah, I, yeah, because I just it all it's depends be, on where that lime is nestled. You think in there. it's going to be pretty intact, and I think it's going to be destroyed. Yeah, I think it's going to be sent. Can you count down in French? Trois, deux, un. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Okay, Link, it you were right. It was a clean, clean break. It went through the lime. I mean, like, and that I listen, don't even know. Look. Oh, it smells good. Man, the that coconut wood didn't do what it th I thought it would. Here, catch that. Catch this. Now eat some of that meat. You'll like that. You'll like that because it's wood. I'm gonna eat the lime, you eat the... Do you, you think it was cut at a 51 to 49% situation? Well, no, Link said no. 50% or less damage? 50% or less damage, so I, I, I think Link gets the points on this. Because it's, why? Because it... <laughs> I actually thought I didn't get the point. Why do you think I got the point? Uh, well, because I thought you thought what would happen is it would slice less than half of it off of it. Well, you know Link what? thought that it was going to pop out, and you thought it yeah. was going to explode, but instead this happened. So I think no one gets points. I can't in I can't take the points, Rhett. This okay. is not what I thought would happen. Well, take some coconut. Huh. Gently placed under the guillotine is one cut-proof glove. I have the other one here, and I mean. This, it's 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 chain mail it's chain basically mail. like I mean the metal. whole idea is that you can wear like a suit made out of this and be can, stabbed at and great white sharks can come up and bite you and you'll be, be fine just be sawed at by a lumberjack so we're gonna guess whether or not it will live up to its name and remain cut proof or if the guillotine will just go right through it and it's your turn to guess first let me feel it this one more time feel of it all you want it's not gonna cut through it. I think it's gonna live up to its name. And I think it's gonna go right through you it. You do? Yeah. I think the weight. It didn't go through a memory foam pillow. I just but think. But that gives, this has no give. I think the weight is just gonna, it's gonna overpower it. Oh man. Can, should we say uh, the name brand because it's not a sponsor? Hey, if you believe in it so much, why don't you put your hand in that glove and put it under there? Uh, okay. <laughs> Daddy get the clicks, Mr. Beast. <laughs> I thought you said. I thought you said. Daddy get the clicks. <laughs> Daddy, get, yeah, I'm Mr. Beast. Daddy, I didn't tell you that. You do look alike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Did it? Did it? P Paisley, come in here and help us with this blade, cause you know I I can't get over there. Okay, so it definitely creased it. It would have broken your hand. <laughs> oh my but gosh. It did not break. It ju yeah, just a freaking crease. But there's, a, it did not yeah, look at that. break at all. See that, that is just, crazy. Just a crease. You should have put your hand underneath it. Missed opportunity. So your points increase. No, yours do. <laughs> oh, I was right. But hey, hey I'll take them. I, I totally forgot what, I, what my answer was. Next up, we got my favorite book. It's the dictionary, right? Okay, and what we're trying to figure Unless out. Unless you know what words mean. Yeah, uh, you, there's also one online now. <laughs> uh, Where can I find that? What? Dictionary.com. Huh. So the blade's gonna cut through the book. The damage is gonna go, it's gonna start at A, because that's the front of the book, and it's gonna stop, or maybe it'll go all the way through, all the way through Z. So we're trying to picture, we're trying to guess what letter is the damage gonna stop at. And I, it's my turn to go first, and I just feel like I don't know why, but the letter N oh. is speaking to me right now. No, this is just paper, man. It's not memory foam. I'm saying W. Oh, well, why don't you just say Z? 
Because it doesn't go all the way through. Okay. Okay. N and W. Can you count down in letters? Yeah. C. B. It ain't that hard. <laughs> A. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> man, that was nowhere close. Let's yank it out. Okay, so we've got the book here. How far does the damage go? F G H I J K. It's already I'm passed in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Q R. It's into R. It does not go past R. Mm. So, what's closer to R, N or W? Well, R S. What's after S? No, that's N's not. closer because it's N O P. That's on Wheel of Fortune. R. Okay, so I'm I'm only three letters away, so I am closer. And also, my name starts with an R. Look at this. But do you know what retirement means? It's the act of retiring. Yep, yep, simple. All right, we have a complicated relationship with Furbies. We don't like them, and we've learned that they can survive just about anything, including when we put them in a paint shaker. Yeah, the Furby was it like, wanted more. let's keep doing that. Oh, so, you don't know what you got coming, little Furby. You're gonna get what you've been begging for, and that's to be chopped in half. You know, Furby said demented stuff like, oh, chop me in half. He's, he's kind of mocking us right now. All right, so we have to decide, is the gear, <laughs> oh, bless you. I, I'm allergic to Furbies. I know, man, let's kill it. Is it gonna actually die, or no matter what happens to it in terms of damage, will it still- Move or talk? Demonstrate some sort of life. life. And you're, you're up first. I don't think it's gonna die. Oh, you think it's gonna live? I mean, I've been around Furbies long enough to know. Shut up! I That's what I thought. Well, I believe the exact opposite. I believe that once and for all, this is going to be the end of this Furby. I well, think that the guillotine can do it. I hope you're right, Rhett. Okay. But I also it's, wanna win. It's any man's game. Whoever's right wins. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Izzy, boy, he looks dead. If this thing wakes up and says something, I'm running out of here. <laughs> Furby, I'm so sorry. Do you, you feel remorse now? Ooh. No, that was me. Oh. feel kind of happy. <laughs> we killed the Furby! And you lost! I don't even care! <laughs> All right, so what, y'all got something of mine to guillotine? Oh, yes we do. Okay, Link, a prize possession has been placed. <laughs> oh, man. Our sign line on Richie album. Paisley, please pull the trigger in three, two, one. No! Oh. In the re oh, poor guy. Look, Lionel you got. You severed him. He, Lionel has been disemboweled. He's never going to come on the show now. <laughs> you guys, severed him. Hey, guys, guess what, guys? Guys, that. that was a fake, guys. Your real one is in your office, guys. I knew oh. it was yeah. a fake. But, guys, look down inside of a Furby soul. That is nasty. That's a Furby heart. That is a, that is a heart of darkness. Look Thanks at that. for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm John. I'm Kathy. We're from Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. We're on top of the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. mythicality. Ha! They didn't even have to say they were in Paris. I knew they were in I Paris. saw the Eiffel Tower. I knew it. Could be Vegas, though. Click the top link to watch us guess real or fake famous last words. And to dissect this more. Furby. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. It's just not right. Correct. You want like a chicken doctor to come in and define it anatomically, just being like, if if it's not you know, the chicken surgeon doctor, general. Do you mean a veterinarian, Josh? I don't a know. Chicken doctor's a vet. <laughs>